good morning. I, or whenever you're watching this, I'm doing a relax and paint. And I'm going to share with you that I'm using Folk Art Multi Surface Paint. And we're going to use um, our one inch mop brush that's right on my website. And you can use this for a lot of things for blending big petals on oversized and for foliage and all. And I use a scruffy a lot, but this does something different. It's a little bit softer and you can soften and blend with it. But on this watercolor canvas board, just for fun, it, it'll do the same thing on just a canvas board, but I just happen to have this, so I was gonna share it with y'all. Then we're gonna be painting with some oversized brushes that are due. And I've just been painting pink with them, can you see? <laughs> and I am going to um, use some peacock blue. I was gonna use teal, but I'm gonna use that peacock blue and aqua. All right, so I'm dampening this brush and I'm going to pick up water because I want a watercolor effect on here. All right, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And um, be sure to ring that bell so that you will know whenever I pop up with a live, okay? Or any uh, new thing I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna then take and let it run. Okay, so a couple things you can do here. You can just let it run down the canvas. Uh, but if you do that, you need to make sure that you have a paper towel down here so it doesn't make a big mess. Uh, I'm going to just let this run some. And I can also come back and drip some more water. I used to use spray bottles, but this has given me a really fun look as is. So just let you see. All right. Now I can let it drip. I just like the backgrounds it gives me, okay? I can also pull out my, my hair dryer. All right, so that gives you kind of a watercolor aqua. And then I'm going to come with some wa water. And let's get some of the blue peacock. Now with that one, I'm going to flip this over. This is, um, I think it's a 12 by 16 canvas. All right, it's a flat panel. All right, so I'm going to come across the bottom here. Okay. I can splash it. Or I can also drip it. And you could do it on the chisel, which would make it come down a different way. And I can splash some more. I can drip it. Okay. Okay. So so you can do it this way, like I was doing before, and pound it a little bit and let it go. Or I can just pull up my blow uh, hair dryer. Okay, so we just want a background. Then you can decide if you want it that way, that way, or this way. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to come up just a little bit more because we're doing oversized brushes. Let me see. I'm a messy, messy look here. All right. So what I want to do is because I'm doing the oversized brushes, I'm going to be using, um, let me show you. This is how you clean this brush. You're going to, it's, um, goat hair so it's a very good brush you're going to push a very good brush at a good price on my website one stroke.com one stroke you just spell out one stroke all together dot com and then you keep that in a nice chisel edge by doing that and i have a two-piece set of smaller ones and this one inch for bigger all right 
So that's what you want to do to get that cleaned out. Now, because we're going to use, I know I'm kind of cockeyed here. Let's see. We're going to use some larger brushes. Um, on this size canvas, I can use my two or my two and a half and the one, okay? The three, I do a lot of great um, base coating and sealers and big, huge strokes, like usually on the back of behind me on my canvas when I'm doing my, my lives on here. All right, so what we need is a bigger plate than a regular foam plate. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put pinks, all right? And you just have to use more paint than normal. So let me put, because we gotta fill those brushes. And when you're double loading with my regular brushes, you have both colors on at the same time. Now, I can put some floaty medium in here because of the watercolor paper, could probably use it. And the floaty medium is the fluff that's inside that paint that makes it fluffy, all right? And that floaty medium I've had out in the car, so it's a little thinner, okay? So I just want you to see how to achieve what I'm trying to do, all right? I want you to see how great these are. Now this handle has got a, a really good um, dipping and sealer so you can clean these off really good. But I've been a very active woman, <laughs> a painter. I've been very busy. So I wet this and then this is what I want you to see. I, I want two thirds magenta. And then I'm gonna come right over here and one third white. Okay, so the key on this is loading. So can you see how much I'm loading back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, what you want to have happen when you're painting is you want it to feel like you've got butter in here. So it should go really smooth. Now, that's I don't use water because water will help you get muddy. Right here, we use water. We wanted that look. So I'm going to dip straight into the floating medium just on the chisel. This is the chisel of your brush. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and mostly what I need to do every time I come back to my plate is pick up white. All right, so you should have enough pink. So what I wanna show you is that I'm gonna do a large rose. All right, so it should look like a seashell. See this? Now what's nice about these flat handles is what's gonna happen is that this handle will roll petals and do fun, fun looks for you. Look, I can roll it back and forth. And it's because this handle is easy to control. If I use the other um, handles that's usually around, they are that big for me to try to hold this. So I created these brushes. This is the Dewberry U collection. I created these brushes with flat handles for a reason, because I've learned that the flat handles easier to control. And my husband said, well, can't they just buy paint or painters, uh, paint brushes? And because they have, they don't have the chisel and the bristles that you get there don't have the springs. So see, when I push down and make my move, all I do is lift it and it springs back up. So that's the beauty of these brushes, quality bristles, all right, and, and they have enough bristles, okay, so I guess I am picking up more magenta, and so some of it's me, um, I haven't had my large brushes for a few years because the gentleman at the brush company that designed them for me has passed away unexpectedly, so it's kind of been out of commission for a while. So now I have a really great company that works with me to create extra brushes that I don't have for my everyday one stroke. All right. So now you're going to put two lines right there. So I'm going to come here and come down. So we go up and over. All right. Then you pick up more white and you're going to come right where that line was. And you're going to make a cup right there in the center of your flower. Now, everybody that I've seen do this, they don't keep this large to match the large. They then go really small there 
All right. So like I could come right here, but no smaller than that, guys, because what happens is then you do all these little small petals in there and it doesn't give you the effect of this is a beautiful oversized rose. All right. So I'm going to come right here on this line and I then do the next row. All right. So this line right here, same thing. All right, I'm going to try to keep that white. All right, I'm going to go back over that again. Because I'm trying not to be in your way. <laughs> okay, so let's do this again. All right, so I'm going to come right in here. Okay, so this is going to be your next row. So a skirt inside. I didn't know those streaks would show so much inside, but I think when we get all the petals on, you won't see it. All right, so this is exactly how you do a regular three-quarter inch brush. Oops, we do the same brush, same exact stroke to build this row. All right, we're not doing all the fancy extra petals. We're just doing the original cabbage rose that you'll see right on my YouTube channel. Okay, so you want to see the layers because I have the butt up there, it shifts it so it's tight up there and it starts getting bigger down here. All right, so then we're going to keep coming in here. Don't get any medium now because we have so much pain here. And the thing I want you to understand, it's wet on wet. All right, so when I come around here, I could come across. You see that? And that was very easy to do because of the flat handle. So watch this. All right. So I'm going to come right here. And I'm going to lift the pink and bring those br bristles across. Now look how fun that looks. And that was effortless. Look, I lean and I lift the, pink, the, the magenta and come across. All right. So I'm just keep getting that white. All right. So now it's shifted. There's a lot of space here. So what I can do is make another row of petals just so it stages up. All right, so I'm going to come right here. All right, and like right there, what I could do is stage down. This is a two and a half. I could have gone down to my two, all right? But I want you to see, I usually tell you to use the same brush for the entire flower because it will look like it wasn't part of the flower, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to come across, just pick up white. I'm gonna bring this one right in here across okay so these petals right here will come up under so it's one on top and top and so the key is I don't like how that turned out there there we go the key is that you are just blending those strokes so it looks like they came naturally like it's tilted. Do you see that? All right. And then I can come right in here. Let me just go to, I know we have to load it all. But let's just go to a two. All right. So it'll be a smaller rose. All right. So we're going to go back and forth, back and forth. All right. How far do we want it up our brush? About two thirds. All right. Now what I'm going to do is this is a smaller brush. So as I'm doing the strokes in here. Okay. Now I'm going to keep picking up white. I'm going to come right here and do my bud inside the rose. All right. And then I'm going to come right here. Let me turn it so y'all can see. Right here. And then on the other side. All 
Okay, so we come around. There we go. All right, so what happened is that's a side view and you can see it gauged down from this big, big brush. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush for my leaves. So I'm gonna put it on here and try not to get it totally a pink leaf. All right, and let's see, we need some darker green. All right, let's see how much dark green I have in here. Okay, this is thicket, that'll be fine. All right, so we're using this pink. I'm gonna wipe the pink out, the magenta. So we've got citrus green and we've got sap. No, thicket, sorry. So the inside of this brush already has a lot of pink. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come right in here, right up there next to it. And as I put pressure, you can see a little bit of that pink's in there. But I want you to see, look what happens here. I'm gonna come right, oops, oops, oops. Right in here, let me work it in. I wanna get better and better at this as we go. And I'm gonna keep sharing with you different projects to do with the, with the large brush. Um, um, Miss Lori Wyndham just did beautiful large petals for like a tropical sign on her pool deck. And it was beautiful. I told her to share with all of you guys on our website. I mean, on our Facebook group. So just go check it out and Lori Wyndham. All right. So I want you to see, I want to keep going over this for a minute because watch this. I want this to blend well. And part of that, you're just going to do like me. You're going to experiment with it till you get the color you want. And then you're going to pull this down. All right. And so I can do maybe, maybe another one over here. So I'm going to come here just kind of sideways. And I got some more paint. Now watch this. I can roll this up just like that and get a really pretty turn leaf on here, really pretty easy with this brush. Then I can come in here and just stand up and pull a stem into there. This needs a stem, all right? But then I can just go into my one inch for this size, all right? And this one inch is different than some other one inch brushes that um, these craft brushes that we had. When you have this, look how big this ferrule is. And so you have to, it's a big handle to hold, but also you don't have chisel. See, this is flat. All right. So, and so this one, you're getting back to the same um, idea here. So I can come right in here and I can put some, get some medium. I can add some leaves that are pink. Is this fun? <laughs> All right. So we also would come right in here and add a couple of leaves that would be coming from that big flower right into here. So it's citrus and sap. I also like to add them here, or we could add some little blossoms that overlap this. Let's come in here and make this darker pink. All right. Okay. So see these blue colors and all that we put in there are really nice. If you're not happy with something, just pick up more paint and re-stroke it, guys. All right. And we can still come in with even a smaller brush. Like this is a 16. And let's come in here with some white, maybe magenta and white with a 16 flat. 
And I could just add a few blossoms. Little tiny blossoms in here. I think we needed some aqua color. Let's pick up white with aqua. And I think that would add better. All right, so we're going to come right in here. Pick up some white. And let's go back over this. So I just want you to see, make it yours. This is not a 16 by 20. And we can still get like doing this into a hibiscus. I'll have to do that for you one day. Uh, doing a hibiscus with this large brush will be beautiful. All right. So I'm going to just come in here. I need to restroke that a little bit because it has a lot of paint there. All right. And same thing here. I can come, look, I am going right over wet green, but it's because I have so much paint on here. I can still do that wet on wet. All right. And right in here. Okay, so wet on wet. I'm gonna wipe off the green. Wipe off, wipe off the green. Or you can wait till the green is dry, just saying. All right, so coming in here and just doing a few little guys here. Just put a little bit of blue in here. Same thing here. Just kind of play with, around with it to get what you want. Put citrus in the middle of these little blossoms or put multiple dots. And in here, but look what we do. We just take the white with some extra dots. All right. So like I'm putting some little dots coming off of these little sprays. All right, so it gives you kind of a fun, different look. And I just threw this together really quick because I wanted y'all to see how to handle that brush and see how fun that brush ends up being. You can put a butterfly or whatever up here um, and sign it and share it. So play with the large brushes. You got to try it to see if you like it. But look, you can make that whole leaf happen in two strokes. All right. How fun is that? All right. So I hope you enjoy this relax and paint. A little bit different than usual. Showing you how to use something um, with brushes like the watercolor background and big, beautiful blossoms and big, beautiful leaves. So I want to hear from you. It makes a difference. And please, please consider joining One Stroke Advantage. It's $9.99 a month. And then four lessons. So you're paying $250 a lesson. But besides that, four during a month. Besides that, guys, you get a 20% coupon off my website every month. You can use over and over. All right, 20% off anything you want to purchase with no, no uh, quotas. Like you have to do $50 or more. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you. Bye-bye.